I'll be talking about my... This stupid chair keeps squeaking. Today I'll be talking about my piercings and my new tattoos I've gotten since I've kind of been off of YouTube for the past two years. I figured I'd share this with you guys uh, because you guys seem to like all these um, pictures of my tattoos and stuff on Instagram. So if you want to know what I have right now, then keep watching. Also, I will be posting videos every single week. As well as, if you want to know how I got this makeup tutorial, I will leave a link of that in the description. So if you want to know what I have now, then uh, keep on watching. Bye! The first tattoo that I did get ever was down in Texas uh, about two years ago. Um, I got the word fearless across my side. Uh, so <laughs> I went with, the, with one of my friends to uh, the tattoo shop and he wanted to get something for his sisters and I you know I tagged along and the guy was like hey you know my two o'clock canceled do you want anything I was like uh, yes so I literally got this huge tattoo on my ribs the worst spot ever I got it on the spot right there and um, so I'm laying down he's he's pinning me or you know doing it and it oh my god it, it was terrible it was on my my ribs and that has to be the worst one of the worst spots you could get it um, but it was really bad. It went by in about two hours. He was done and it was it wasn't as bad as my other tattoos I'll go into uh, in a little bit, but it was definitely it was definitely an experience um, And this was about two hundred dollars uh, for the two hours So pretty much your standard rate at least in the States is going to be a hundred bucks per hour uh, Kind of depending on what it is that you want. So keep that in mind if you ever want anything now the second one I got wasn't until I moved out to Okinawa, Japan. Uh, so there was this woman who spoke perfect English um, and I think she was married to one of the American guys or whatever. So she spoke perfect English and a bunch of people I knew recommended me to her. Um, so that was my, my chest piece. And I went in there originally wanting like watercolor flowers on my chest and I left there with cartoony looking flowers. Um, I wasn't extremely disappointed, but it was not what I went in there for. Um, also, these are, are cherry blossoms, and on the inside of cherry blossoms, you have these little things. You, you know what I'm talking about, these little pollen, pollen things. And um, so on one side, she did them yellow, and then on the other side, she did them red. But I did not catch it until I went home. Uh, so I eventually had to go back in and have her fix it, um, but it still wasn't as as good as I would want it to be, so I'll have to get that fixed when I move back to the States. The next one I got was with my very best friend down in Florida. Um, so me and her, we wanted to get a matching tattoo for quite some time, but we couldn't figure out what we wanted to get. Um, and we're over here looking on Tumblr, Pinterest, and we cannot find anything that we, you know, that we both like. Uh, one day, it just, it just came to me to get two cats, because we both love cats, and then have their tails make a heart. Uh, so I kind of kept this to myself. Um, I never really got around to talking to her about it uh, since I was out here. Um, but eventually I'd Skyped her or whatever, and she, she was like, hey, I came up with the best tattoo idea for both of us. So she told me, and it was literally the exact same thing I had come up with, and I told her, and we were like, Poof, now we have to get it. So we went and got it. Um, it's about 40 bucks. It, it took like 20 minutes. Like it, it was super quick, and this was on the other side of my ribs. Um, so we both got that in the same place. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite tattoos because I got it with her. I never thought I would ever get a matching tattoo with anyone, but that was super cool too. Now every time I look at it, I'm going to think of you, Rocky. Um, next is my very last tattoo uh, that I got. Now this has to be the biggest, craziest tattoo I've ever gotten. So I originally went in, um, mind you, this was in Okinawa. I came across this one guy who, who used to be out here. His dad was Air Force and... So he ended up growing up out here and he spoke perfect Japanese, perfect English, and he had such beautiful work. So I went to him and I gave him this gorgeous Instagram picture of somebody's art um, that I completely loved. It was, you know, a girl with light pink hair with some flowers, um, I think they were like orchids or something, uh, with a nose ring and she kind of had her hand on her face and I thought it was gorgeous and I really wanted it. So I brought him the picture and he ended up redrawing it completely um, just in his own style and it came out beautifully and then he changed up all the colors since 
I am, believe it or not, kind of tan. Um, so the colors that I chose would be really difficult to see. Uh, so we did pick some blues, some purples, uh, some yellows. So that was super cool. Now this one, oh dear God, this was four sessions, th three, three sessions. The first time I went in there, I paid $400 for four hours. Uh, and this was just the outline alone. And this wasn't too bad because he wasn't shading or anything, but it was still kind of annoying, um, an annoying kind of paint. The second time I went in, I got the purple roses. Um, and by the end of my four hours there, three, three, four hours there, I I was like almost in tears. I was like shaking. And mind you, I'm pretty good with, with pain. I'm clumsy. I fall all the time. I, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but just sitting there that long with the shading and uh, it, it was beyond terrible. Um, so when I had to go in for my last session, I was like kind of freaked out and I'm like, do I really want to get this done? Um, so I eventually sucked it up and I went and I saw him again and he was like, hey, I think, I think we can do the rest of it, this session. I was like, uh, okay, you're, you're the boss, you, you, you could do what you want. Um, so he managed to speed through the rest of it in about three hours, which was great because the rest of it seemed that it would have taken more time than the actual, than the roses themselves. Uh, but he did a great job. Um, he sped through it pretty quickly and I ended up paying uh, $300 that last session as well. So this huge tattoo was almost $1,000. It was nine, 900 bucks, and it, it, was, it was ridiculous how expensive this thing was. But it came out beautiful, and I'm super glad I got it. Um, funny enough, <laughs> when I my coworkers see it, they're like, why did you get a self-portrait of yourself on your leg? And I'm like, ah. I didn't, I'm like, I didn't mean to get something that looked like he, he redrew it, and it kind of looks like me now, but... Whatever, when I get old, I'll just be like, that's what I look like when I was a youngin'. So I'm not even going to complain about it. I'm not going to worry about it. But it's super gorgeous, and I'm super happy with it. Next is my septum. Uh, so a lot of people ask me if this is fake. It is not. Um, so last year, around the 4th of July, we had like a four-day four weekend. And I'm like, I really want to get my face pierced. But obviously, being in the military, I can't have anything hanging you know, off my face. So I was like, what's the best thing I can get? And I thought, boom, septum. Um, so usually when I go to work, I have the, the bull ring and I flip it up inside my nose and then on the weekends or when I record, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it in. Uh, so this is not like a little clip on thing. Like this is in there pretty good. It's one of those clicker things. I really hope my nose hairs aren't sticking out in this video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got this set of Hot Topic or Spencer's. I, um, when I went back to the States this past, past week, past two weeks, um, I did pick, ugh. I did pick up a handful of piercing or a septum rings from Spencer's and Hot Topic, so that was cool. And then my very last uh, piercing, obviously I have my, my ears pierced and um, my, my cartilage, uh, so I won't get into that. A lot of people know about ear, ears, ear piercings. Um, but lastly, I want to talk about my belly button ring. So this was the first, um, first thing that I got out of all the things I mentioned. Um, hence why I wanted the, the fearless on my side uh, to kind of complement my belly ring. But I got that and surprisingly it didn't hurt. Uh, it just punched through and I was good to go. It kind of hurt to like sit down in the car. I definitely did not hurt as much as my, my septum did. Well, originally, when, originally when he did it, he took a needle and he just stuck it through. And you know, after that it, it was great. It didn't hurt unless I touched it or messed around with it. So neither of these two hurt too bad. Uh, I would definitely say the tattoos hurt way more because, you know, it's, it takes a lot longer with piercings. They just kind of go, boop, you're done, you know, put the ring in and you're good to go. So, yes, that, that didn't hurt too bad. Um, I think my nose was 40 bucks um, to get pierced and then I think my belly was, was just as much. Um, I don't know, this, this, I got these uh, quite a while back. Um, but that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. I really just wanted to kind of talk about some stuff. I, I just recorded this makeup tutorial and I was just like, I can't let this makeup go to waste. I've got to record something else. So boom, new wig, new backdrop, and new video. <laughs> Movie magic. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I want to remind you that I do post videos every single week. And if you go to beautyforbrokebabes.com, you'll find a million cool stuff and videos and blog stuff and all those other cool things you can find on my website. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, that'll be in the description. And thank you for watching. I love you guys so much and have a lovely day.